Rocket Knight Adventures for the Sega Genesis. This was a game that I let's played before. I haven't played any of the other Sparkster games. Sparkster for the Genesis and, well, Sparkster for Super Nintendo, which has the same name, but it's a different game. And I know there was a uh, Sparkster game that came out on 7th Gen. I haven't really played that one either. Okay, controls are the way I want them. Let's go. Er, I'm a big floating head with long fingernails and hands. Keep in mind, this was a game that came out in 1993. And look how well it plays. Like how animated it is. Oh, you can... Hold attack to even just like charge your jetpack. And that functions as an attack as well. Let's just take out a whole bunch of pigs. There we go. Apparently, defeating them rips their clothes off. What a thunk it. Sometimes you can shoot yourself in a diagonal. So, if you know the levels really well, you can just speedrun them quickly. Just by using the jetpack the whole time. You can also use your tail to, like, go across ropes. Your basic melee weapon is also quite potent. So it's not like you have to use the jetpack the whole time. Oh, get some apples over there. Apples, of course, give you health. There's a one-up over there as well. Oh yeah? You wanna try that again? Oh, couldn't even see where I was for a brief moment. Oh hey Shin Loki, good to see you. Alright, the tank is gone. Oh, but I can still move, so we're not done yet. Alright. Yeah! Oh, shmup section. If you can call it that. Look at the effect on the water when you go near it. Like, just the simple things you notice. Like the attention to the detail they put into it. This game does get a bit rough around the last part. But it's such a... It's such a marvel to look at. the head. Oh, careful. Oh, if you go in the water, you're, you're pushed away. Got it. Who needs a door? Gotta clear that. 
I guess I could have if I just jumped better. Oh! Oh, those flames go pretty fast. Ow! Oh no! Okay, good. Then I got stuck. Let me out. I could use more health. Surely if those pigs are on fire, I'll just wait for them to turn to bacon and I'll eat them. That doesn't work like that in this game. Apparently those pigs are too evil to eat. Sparkster only eats virtuous bacon. It's not as fatty. Also, it's gotta be nice and crispy. Careful, I assume that's the next boss. Oh, that's right, you can't attack those uh, bugs. Uh-oh. Which dinosaur are the tastiest meat? Probably the T-Rex. Or the Brontosaurus. Okay, at least the lives keep coming back. And if you're lucky, you can get enough score to get another life. know what you're supposed to do about this attack. Let's just wait for it to stop. I would just do that. Again, this is one of the more annoying attacks because it's invincible the whole time. Got it. Stereo, okay. Huh, this gets punted. I'll jump. I'll do it. Goodbye.
All right, stage two. Past it. Sometimes the movement patterns are a little erratic. Oh, I got deflected. Gotcha. It's been a nasty flicker with this part, though. I don't know if that's just a core issue, or the base game is always like that. If I'd sacrifice one thing in your life, would it be food or water? It'd probably be food, because you can... You can go a wall without food, but not water. this part. Konami definitely like using a, you know, illusion of a depth there, especially if you play Bloodlines. Well, I was gonna use that platform, but okay. Season in NHL games, I'm probably not gonna watch all of them. Ah, oh, God! That hurts my eyes. Jesus. Oh, yeah, I know about that documentary about Vince McMahon. I don't know if I'm gonna watch it though. Because I hardly ever use Netflix. Mostly my sister uses it, and Netflix is very anal about password sharing. I might just see, like, uh, highlights of it in uh, wrestling groups that I follow. I know, they'll probably talk about it. Fine. Maybe if I just stay down here like this, I'll be safe. See? Oh, this part! Okay, you had to go after the- ah, damn it, that still got me. <laughs> ah, come on! Okay, at least I got the health. I'm gonna jump right over it. Am 
Okay, at least this strat works. Ah, damn it! They just keep on coming! And this time they actually destructed themselves. Yeah, this is doing sustained damage. Working. I don't know if it's doing a lot. Got it. Unless it has another form. Of course it does. All oh, those hands just go all over the place. Why couldn't you just put me right next to the train boss if it's already that close. You might as well, right? <laughs> also, that chicken ain't doing shit. Like, I'm just gonna leave now. You're on your own. If you're a train with arms, you can look as goofy as you want. Yeah, that's so sudden. Okay, I think I got it. The arms themselves don't hurt you, it's the hands that do. Oh, it's not done! Oh, you touch the side of the, the back of the train, it just fucks you up. Oh my god! You have to do all the phases, one after another. This is only the stage two, boss! I should just be using this attack. Damn. One thing I need to exploit is that whenever an enemy is hit, I can pass through its body.
Okay, I got through that phase a little bit faster. Projectiles, they don't hurt you as much. There. Took like three tries. But hey, it's still a win. Hey there, Bariami. Good to see you. Long time no see, by the way. Also, isn't this like the lava cave? Yeah, it is. I feel like a lot of the design team that was involved in this game were also involved in Castlevania Bloodlines. Which is like the uh, illusions they throw in. All things have been pretty good so far. Well, he's not doing too well. Stepped on the, uh, the radioactive V8 juice. That's the 3,000% sodium. Well, this time you have to use the uh, reflection just to even see where you're going. Oh, and I had to have that death before I even got to the one-up. Get in! Why didn't it get in? I hit up! That was so weird. Oh my god, there was no way that was not safe. There was just no way, video game. Someone's gonna have to put the instant replay on that one. Actually go in the entrance this time. Oh, I wasn't going right enough. Are you shitting me, video game? Yeah, this this part's not too bad. The spikes only do half a heart of damage. At least the box boss has a hitbox as soon as it arrives. And not be like, oh, when we choose to actually be vulnerable. It 
It's always so satisfying when you get like a ton of hits on the same enemy. Doesn't always pan out when you get hit immediately afterwards. Oh my god, it got me from there. It had a mighty need. Yeah, let it go, uh, like, attacking just lets go of Duck right away. So I gotta be more mindful of that. Also, I'm about to die in one more hit. Excellent. Honey Mustard Pringles? I mean, I'd be down to try, but I think I've had Honey Mustard Chips before and they weren't that great. They weren't bad, but they weren't something I would have every day. Shit, why does the lava do that much damage? Three full hearts. At least he can get health easily. It's easy to see why. Doesn't help that you ate mustard. Well, I mean, of course you were not gonna like a chip that had honey mustard flavor, especially since you already have a predisposition predis to not like mustard. It's like, alright, we had like one dinosaur and a touch a cannon to it, so can you use this please? Okay, cool, bye. Well, I hope we hit the ship. Okay, we did. It was either that or you go right into the sun and you die. I knew that princess was ugly. Oh, I have to deflect them back. Bet too late to figure that out now, but... Better late than never. See ya. Well, I mean, it could have been worse. You could have been like... I don't know why I tried those potato chips, even though I hate potatoes.
I just imagine somebody said like, I don't like these potato chips. And I hate potatoes. I'm like, well, yeah, because you don't like potatoes. That's what most chips are made of. Whoops! <laughs> I fucked that one up. <coughs> I wonder how many people fell for that too, huh? Hey, ceiling. Okay, I should not charge that. It's just gonna happen again. No! I think it's a good idea to have, like, bombs with limbs climbing across our cables. Not sure, what's the worst that can happen? Other than they blow up! On our stuff! Okay, I thought I was gonna miss. Okay, let's not do that again. Okay, at least there's a one up there. Deep down they knew. You don't get enough time to get away. I think you're, maybe you're supposed to use the bomb enemies. Yeah, point the flamethrower at the ship, you know, where bombs are dispensed. It's totally not a dumb idea at all. This is one where you gotta time it just right. Oh! I'm in. Stop trying to attack them, because every time I do, I'm vulnerable again. You gotta let him shoot and then attack. Unless you're just fast enough. Time to get this geek again. Shame if you exposed your weak spot to me. Okay, a lot of the debris is hard to dodge.
Why does it do so much damage, too? Look at this nonsense! And sometimes it'll just give you the undodgeable patterns. Alright, maybe if I try the spin move. Am I invulnerable during that? Okay, I guess I could do that. You don't get a lot of opportunities to hit the weak spot, though. Okay, this one's pretty easy. Just stay in the corner. Gotcha. Oh man, I was hoping 100,000 in score would give me another extra life. That's okay, I prepared for this. Alright, let's see how far we get in stage 5 before I decide to stop playing. Oh, the warheads. They do one and a hard one and a half hearts of damage too. Yeesh. I thought health was being dropped, but that's actually just their hats. But look at the detail on this uh, city. It looks very like Central and or Eastern European. With lots of industrial factories in the background. Brick buildings that scale really tall. Oh, definitely not inspired by Gradius at all. No, of course not. Destroy the core! Got it. I don't bark. Oh, I had the damage boost through it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think there's a race. At least I beat the obstacle courses. Oh no!
Okay, if I use a continue, where does it put me? Okay, here is not bad. Oh, but this game does not use passwords. No! I hope you get the correct bounce or you're done. Not like that. That wasn't. Alright, if I game over here, I think that's gonna be it for Rocket Knight Adventures. Because when you try to do that diagonal, if your thumb slips, you're just gonna get like straight forward. And that's not gonna work. Unless you're trying to die. Use this thing too. Now I gotta throw hazards in there. All right, let's see if you learned. So good. That was close. Oh, is this gonna work? Okay, it is. See ya. <laughs> oh man, I, you, you think fast. All right, now you got a chase sequence where if you do slow, you die. Damn, you fuck up even once, it, it's over! No mercy for you! Shit! You know what? I tried. I think playing this for like 45 minutes, or at least make it near the end to stage 4. 
I think that's a good use of time. So it's not a long game, but it will test you. So uh, thank you, Neil, for nominating this game, but I think it's time to uh, let go and move on.